Hello and welcome back to Clint's workshop. Yes, we're in the workshop today again. You can't see me, <laughs> but I can't see you either. Anyway, <clears throat> what we're going to do today is to look at surface finishes. Um, so many people, um, I find, uh, to get surf good surface finishes, uh, they use, uh, after they've machined it, things like this. Emery cloth or abrasive, abrasive uh, cloth or whatever, uh, or wet and dry. I, it's, I can't see it. Wet and dry. You don't need it. You don't need it. So, what we're going to do today is to show you how to how to get super smooth finish, and with you can observe observe now a final cut which will give a super, a super smooth finish like a, a shiny mirror type finish and you'll see how it, do, how it, how it can do that <coughs> I've already, <coughs> already prepared everything and so um, this is the nose cone of the spaceship that I'm working on it's my granddaughter for Christmas so I'm now doing a final cut on the, uh, on the nose cone Okay, so here we go. Let's switch it on. And to, to get this <coughs> smooth finish, try to observe the movement of my hands here. For the, look, this is for people who just don't know too much about the turning techniques, just starting, or people who've done it for a long time and <laughs> might not know. But anyway, if you're not interested, you don't have to watch it. But if you do, I'd be obliged if you could uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this. And I'd be much obliged. So I need some more subscribers. And uh, leave a comment. Write your comment. I reply to all my comments that, that are made. And even if you don't like it, leave a comment. Because that gives feedback so I know what to do if you don't like it. I'll not do this type of thing again. Maybe. I only do what I want anyway. But I think you might be interested in this one. So here we go. I'm, this is up on the box with lathe, and I'm going to speed this speed up from 250, um, which, it, which is what it, what it is now, and I'm going to cut it about. Um, I'm going to cut it about 1100 RPM. So I'm speeding it up now. That's from 250 to 540. At 600, 700, 800, 900, approaching 1000, now I'm going to go up to 1100. So, now, also, we're talking about using high speed steel cutter. Usually 18% tungsten material, and I'm going to put a final cut on this nose cone <coughs> of about 3,000th of an inch, and uh, that leaves it will make it 6,000th of an inch less in the in the diameter, so 3,000th of an inch each side. You can maybe it'll make it up to a 64th. Cut, but I'm nearly down to that size that I want here. I'm just going to touch it. Just bear with me until I'm going to get situated. Yes, I'm touching it. So now I'm just moving it now. Okay, so now. Deep cut. And <coughs> watch what happens. <coughs> and if you watch my hands here, you'll see how I do it. We're not using any uh, taper turning attachments at all. We're just doing it by hand. And this is how we do it. Now you'll notice that uh, because we've got a different varying diameters all the way down the surface then we can actually 
go a little bit quicker on the larger diameter sections and then slow down a bit because that's the advantage of uh, trying to see it by hand, feeding it by hand as opposed to auto feeds. If you're not auto feeding on a tape turning attachment, you're still only going to get the same feed rate, whereas on this type of thing, when you're doing it by hand, you can vary it. I hope you can see what's happening here. Observe the hand movement. The, the secret is to never stop. Keep it turning all the time with your hands. Keep it going round. Because once, you, once you've stopped, you start again, that's when you start to leave marks and it, as it picks back up. And you're trying to avoid any marks, but a real small finish. You can see what's happening there. I think it's a pretty small finish. And, uh, I'm sure I have to get that mirror, that mirror look. Well, we're like well over halfway down now. This is a relatively short video, so just bear with me. Now you'll see, it looks a bit shiny at that bottom. Now, bear this in mind. Uh, I did a little, a little test for it for you, because I said you won't have to use any emery cloth and stuff like that. But what I did on that was apply a little bit of metal polish, which I'll show you later, and it gives it a real shiny, mirror type finish without the use of any abrasives. So we're almost there now. And as I say, a lot of people that do use fine. Uh, emery cloth to smooth it even more, but it's not really necessary, uh, as you will see. You need a sharp tool, and you can find uh, the various sharpening techniques to get a good finish on some of my earlier videos. So here we go. I'm going to almost, we're nearly at the end now, just about an eighth of an inch to go. There you go, and that concludes that. So we can switch this off. Still doing 1100 RPM. Well, it's a little bit noisy, isn't it? That's 1100 RPM. So what I can do is uh, I can wind this back out of the way. Normally, I would move the whole saddle uh, out of the way. Um, yes, I think I think that might be better. Uh, watch, got to watch for the camera. Mm. Yes. Okay. So, that's the surface we're looking at. Now, to make it even more shiny now, I don't know whether you can actually see it with, with the light, but uh, I'll leave it at that. And we've not got a film studio, folks, you know. It's just a question of... Doing the best, we're doing the best we, we, we can with the facilities and the resources available. So, this is a sort of a standard metal polish. I don't, <laughs> I don't get paid for advertising, so I'm not going to do. You only need a little bit. Well, I used to use this polish on my motorbike for the alloys and things like that. The material that we're using here is an aluminium alloy and uh, <coughs> now I'm going to I'm going to polish it up just to finish it off to make it even shinier. The thing is with these surfaces uh, um, it can 
you can ox oxidize unless you anodize the, uh, the material but uh, I used it on the motorbike on the alloys and it lasted for quite a long time really, really good stuff so here we go I'll just uh, oops Put a little bit on there and then start it. Need a little bit more on actually. And then put it at the end. That should do it. Right. Here we go. I'm not going to polish the whole of the nose the, uh, of the spaceship. This is just the nose cone, the nose cone on the command module. <laughs> but kids do like to see things nice and shiny. I do as far as that goes, but it's nice to have a contrasting uh, aspect to the material. So there you can see it's going really nice and shiny there. with the, that particular finish you want to apply it a little bit more polish yeah well we can do that but uh, it looks pretty nice but we're going to do a little experiment and put a little bit more on just to see if we can get, buff it up a little bit more okay there we go I'm going to put a little bit on. Right. I'll start again. <clears throat> I'm 
Now you've got to be careful when you're working close to the chuck. Make sure you don't get your fingers trapped in the drawers. It's not much fun. Now I do believe it's getting a higher, higher gloss finish. If you don't need it, just stop when you want to. see that, that it contrasts with the other machine parts of this spaceship when I take it out of the tube. I think it's uh, there's more polish there than there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more on. Uh, <coughs> Just there. It just seems a little bit dull at that particular point. So, try the clean part of this cloth here. Mm. This thread on this cloth, it's uh, going all over the place. Now, if you get a hard piece of thread, that could affect it. And I think I've got a piece now. So let's go. think about that it doesn't look too bad to me <clears throat> so there we are I think that um, um, get this up. <laughs> I'm not saying never to use 
the abrasive thing, the abrasive cloth, emery cloth, wet and dry. But I'm just showing you that you can do it without, without it. That's good enough for me. And uh, I'm hoping it's, uh, I've got to have it signed off by my granddaughter, you know. <laughs> and I think she'll like it. And that's what, that's what we're going to do. So, there's the nose comb, and I'll show you the contrasting material. It's also the command module. So there, there's the. That's a good. That's better. That's just the machine a bit there. Okay. The light gets all over. Yeah. You can see the machine surface there, and then the, we've got the polished surface all the way along here. So I think that's pretty good. So as I said, this is part of the spaceship. I've got to get it finished for Christmas. This is not this is only part of it. This is the command module, and the um, um, I don't want to get finger marks on on that bit. So I want to show you inside there. It's bored out. And that's to take the both of the rocket launch to yeah, <laughs> the engine bit. And um, if you remember, we did a recent video on 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 fits, push fits, sliding fits, and that's a sliding fit inside there for another component, which is. Something like this. Right. And there's something else that's got to go on there. It's not finished yet. I'll keep you posted as I do it. Anyway. Sliding fit. There you go. When I when I took it out, you could see you could feel a slight suction because of the fit. If it's too sloppy, it's not what I want. But remember, uh, a child's got to assemble this, and she's she's not quite full yet. That she can do it but the thing is I don't want to get it damaged by other toys so the, the, the sliding fit I wanted I think is is going to be good for this particular thing I'll soon find out when I get it there so there we are I'm putting this down now <coughs> if you like this video give us a like please <laughs> and also you might like to watch that. That might interest you. Okay, so thanks for viewing. And thanks for coming back to me. And uh, it's always uh, a problem to know what to what what to do. And when you're doing machine work, the, the, the <laughs> it does get difficult. Anyway, as I say, I just remind you that <laughs> watch that. That might interest you. Thanks for viewing. Um, have a good day. See you next time. Bye for now.